my dad went to Rice and he was actually Sammy the Owl his senior year, which is particularly the main reason why I'm here. So we're from the Valley, San Benito, Texas is where I was born and raised. He's from Brownsville and we recently moved up to Corpus Christi, Texas. So now that we're closer to Houston, we try to come as often as we can. And since he did go to Rice, he likes to take, give us a little tour of Rice and he'll take us to Brown, which was his house that he stayed in. Well, coming to Rice was a life-changing experience for me back when I matriculated in 94. I graduated Brown, 98. Um, it was such an awesome experience for me. I wanted my daughter, who's an incoming freshman, to get a taste for what I felt like and hope that she makes the right decision and come to Rice when it's her turn to go to college. Tapia Campers define the future of energy. Give yourself a big round of applause. The week has been really good. This is my first time at one of the Tapia Camps. Uh, I definitely enjoy it here and I've been learning a lot. A lot about computer science, algorithms, stuff like that. Something that I've never really been like taught about or never really heard of until I came to this camp this week. I mean so far we've done a thousand kids across the Gulf region. We started in early June you know in a partnership that we have with Jackson State University in Mississippi and then we moved to Southern University in Baton Rouge and then for the past four weeks we've been here at Rice. Overall a thousand kids from the Gulf region you know where it's more than 75 percent are from minority populations are taking part of a once in a lifetime really event which is to learn about carbon and carbon management which is the foundation of us in capturing emissions for the future of energy. Thank God that I have a mother. Uh, my mom introduced me to the camp through an email when I was at work lifeguarding trying to save people's lives and I was reading through the email and I was like this is all about rice and she was like, yeah, you need to go to the camp. You need to go be adventurous. Through the camp, they have taught me a lot about being a leader, about mathematics, about how to challenge myself and be in a group of people with uh, diversity. I was really attracted to the mission. I really did want to uh, kind of be a part of a movement to help people that come from a similar background to me uh, feel as though that they are able to reach lengths that they may not think are possible for them. My life has had some hard ups and downs. So you, you want everything just to go smoothly. You want your whole life just to be a dream. Dream, you have to dream. But if things come along the way that are challenges and adversity, I had to deal with the death of my 21 year old daughter and then the death of, of my wife. So there's been challenges along the way. They're expected. So you have to deal with them as they come along and keep going. The Tapia name really means two things. It means excellence and equity. And this is what the center is about. We build incredible programming that's original and shows students that what they learn in class really affects their lives. But we also include as many different populations of students as we can so that everyone can see that they too belong in STEM. So my parents actually never received a college like education. They never finished high school even. So for me to be able to do it, what I'm doing and like studying at Rice Mechanical Engineering, it's pretty great and I think that what, what Tapia has done with also contributing towards that and making sure that there is a minority presence in STEM education, I think that's pretty great. Richard is the most decorated Latino scientist of our generation. It's no wonder that he's received more awards than most of us can count. And for him to now be at the leading edge of what is the future of energy and do it in a way that, number one, is about excellence, but it's also about equity, right? And he has devoted his career to inspire you know, young people to pursue careers in STEM and he's devoted that career by really championing minorities and women getting into STEM. And I don't think there is anybody else who has that recognition more than he. And it gives us what a privilege, you know, to partner with him in this and make sure that we take his legacy for decades to come ahead.